Hello, everybody. This is Steve Rizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Cyberlink Power Director Ultimate. And here we are in Power Director working on a project or actually just finishing up a project. Now, this one is shorter than your typical DVD, but we're going to, just for demonstration purposes, use this little 10-minute movie, seven-minute movie to create a DVD or to show you the process of creating a DVD. Now, this is a two-part tutorial. And in part one, what we're going to do is add our scene markers to the video timeline and then those scene markers will be applied in part two when we actually choose our menu and lay out our menu for our movie. The first thing you'll need to do before you do any or add any scene markers is go over here to the timeline. If you're not seeing the chapter track, uh, it's one of the tracks that's tucked away by default and if you right click on the track headers you'll see options to open up certain tracks. Now the clip marker track is for adding markers on the timeline to help you find a certain location in your movie. There's a subtitle track in case you want to add subtitles to your disc and that's a whole separate tutorial. These titles can be turned on and off at the viewer's discretion. Uh, there's an SVRT track which has to do with smart rendering and then finally the chapter track which is what we're looking for. We'll select the option to show that and there is our chapter track. You see you get a starting chapter here by default. It also by default opened up the chapter settings panel. I want to show you how to do that manually just in case uh, you ever need to do it. We're just going to back here to the media room and then I want to get to that chapter markers or scene markers panel. All I need to do is go down here to this little dot dot dot. Uh, if you have an older version of Power Director, you may see all of the rooms listed here, but on the newer versions of Power Director, you have to go to the More button and select Chapter Room. There it is. And here is our first chapter. To add a chapter marker, or actually we're going to modify this chapter marker first, so rather than it being called Chapter 1, let's go ahead and we'll double click on it and we can call it whatever we want. Let's call it Arriving. We can, of course, reposition if we want. We're going to leave this one right at the beginning of our movie. There are some automatic methods for adding chapter markers. You can have them added automatically wherever there's a video clip break. That would make a lot of chapter markers in my movie. Or you can set an interval, say five minutes. And they'll automatically be added every five minutes. Let's manually add our chapters or our scene markers. So we're just going to move our playhead in. Uh, let's go to about here, about two minutes in. And once we have it in position, we can select the option down here to manually add another chapter marker. We'll click on that button. It automatically adds our chapter. We can once again double click and give it a name. And we can continue to add chapter markers throughout the movie here. We'll add one more and give it a name. And now we have, well, three chapter markers already, three C markers for our DVD. Now, by default, each of these chapter markers is going to show the frame where the marker is located, but you don't have to abide by that. You can make it uh, because this, this one is not particularly picturesque. So I'm going to move the playhead to back here where we get a look at Jason's face. I think that will make a nicer thumbnail. Notice it doesn't change the position of the marker itself, but with the marker selected here in the chapter settings room, I'm just going to click on this little landscape button here under manual chapter settings and watch what happens to this little thumbnail. Now the thumbnail that will appear is the thumbnail where I have the playhead located right now, but notice it doesn't change the position of the marker itself. So again, this one's not very flattering. Let's find a nicer, this one's better. Let's use this as our, our thumbnail. So once again, with that chapter selected in our chapter settings room, we'll click on, on this set current frame. And now once again, our thumbnail is a little more appropriate and much more aesthetically pleasing. Once we've done that, once we've added our menu markers, our scene markers, our chapter markers, we can begin the process of actually authoring the DVD. We're going to do that by going into the Produce workspace by clicking on this tab here at the top of the uh, interface. And now that we're in here, we can begin the process of creating our disk. Let's select the Create Disk tab. There we go. And now we can begin to create our disk, which we're going to do in our next tutorial. So I hope you join me for part two of creating DVD and Blu-ray disc menu systems in CyberLink PowerDirector. See you in part two.